All right, we got some gold mining to do today, so I hope you ate your Wheaties. We're going to be advancing that drift, and we're going to be looking for gold nuggets today. What do you think about that? So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Ooh, you better, so come on. Let's go! Ooh, how many people can say they ride a tram to work every day? Oop, low timber. <laughs> All right, let's get on and get it on, because i got a lot of work to cover today. I don't got a lot of time to jaw jack. I might even not have time to eat beans. So let me show you what's going on here. All right, you remember where we poked through right there, and you can see the Chinese shaft over there. All right, the problem is, is we can't use this as part of our haulage drift because the skip bucket, the rails for it, are right there. So what we're planning on doing is punching a drift right through here on the sidewall going around. So let me go ahead and show you what that's gonna look like. Here's where the track's in right here. We're right there. Here's where we punch through right here. There's the shaft sinking bucket right there. There's the sets in the Chinese shaft here. That's where we're finding all the gold and we're driving the drift this way and finding more gold. So the problem is, is we need to run these rails. We can't run these rails this way because then we'll run into the skip bucket. So what we're gonna do is we're going to run, we're gonna dig this all the way around so we can connect in from the side. You see that, doesn't that make sense? And then we can dump directly into our, our bucket and make things a lot easier. So we're gonna dig here, start tunneling this way, come around this way, punch through, and then we can run our rails right in here like that. See that? And then that'll be a lot easier running our ore cars on the track around this curve than trying to get it in through this side right here. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so let me go ahead and get suited up and we'll carve our outline and then we'll start pushing the drift that way. Does that sound like fun to you, huh? So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Ooh, you better. So come on. My name is Jeff. Let's go! All right, I'm gonna move all this electrical wire and some of this ventilation pipe out of the way. Because right about here is where we're going to be carving our new drift to connect in with this drift. Then we'll simply just go around and then that way we can just dump into our haulage bucket. It'll be a lot simpler. All right, let me get all this stuff out of the way so we can start working. All right, I figure right about, right about here. That'd be a good spot to start driving it in. All right, let's get the uh, hammer drill out and get started. Huh. Not bad, huh? Not too shabby, son of jail. Here, let me take this off so you can hear me. I said it once, and I'll say it again. Who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner. All right, now take a look at this cut. Our incline right here is going down at about a nice gentle 20 degrees, maybe 15. Matches the dip of our incline. Gonna come down here. Of course, I gotta create a wider face for us to dig into. We're gonna leave a column there for support. That's what that is. And we'll just punch through, bend the track around, go in and then come in from the side and then we'll be able to dump right into our, our skip bucket. But it's looking pretty good. The hard part about digging through this material is you have bands of cemented caliche and then bands of clay and they're intermixed. Some are really soft, like this one and this one, and the ones in between are like concrete. It's hard going. And look at the muck pile I'm sitting on. Just this little tiny cut produced 
about 600 pounds of material. Isn't that amazing? At least, maybe even 900 pounds. And of course, we're gonna widen this out, open it up more. Then we'll start driving our haulage drift right in through here. And of course, we'll arc the back too for support. And then it'll connect into the other side. Now you're probably thinking, Jeff, this is gonna take you forever. No, it ain't because we've been digging 24 seven. Come here, let me show you what we've been doing. Now remember when the bottom of the Chinese shaft Look like this. Oh yeah! Well, Senator Jim, while you've been sleeping, I've been digging. Take a look at this. Yeah, have a look at it now, Senator Jim. Not too shabby, huh? Look at that, we blew that entire section out. You can see what we're working at over here. And then eventually it goes, we're gonna leave this column right here. That column's gonna remain, and then we're gonna punch in around the corner there. And this will be our haulage drift right here. It'll connect to what we were just working on. Now to give you an idea how much work this was, this was close to five tons of material. Just this little haulage drift right here. Oh, I can't tell you how many bowls of Wheaties I had to eat to get this done. And you can see where we're curving it right here. So right there, you can see where we've already started to curve. And this is going to connect in with what we're cutting right now on the other side. Here you've got your different bands or seams. Got a really tough caliche up on top. We got these crystallized zones when this was an inland sea. Soft caliche zones right there. You've got sandstone layers right there where we're actually finding rocks of sandstone. Like this one. And then you've got these really hard cemented caliches with the gravel zone. Then the clay seams again. And then a really hard cemented caliche down there at the bottom. You can see a better look of it right there. But right now I want to get this connected because it'll be easier to get all the material from the old workings over here to our haulage shaft so we can get more material out so we can run more material and get more gold out of it like i said some people own mines and some people explore mines but we're the only ones that dig mines from start to finish and i'll tell you what it'll test your metal too all right so like any mine we have a pegboard so we can keep track of our loads that's how i know how much material came out of this new drift and so it's in increments of 10, as you can see right here. So when we get to 10, we put the peg there. Go to 10, peg goes there. So we've had 30 of those buckets to get this haulage drift done. And those buckets weigh about 310 pounds a piece. So you do the math of how much material came out of this thing. That's a lot, and we still have a long way to go. All right, Senator Jim, let's get back to work, because that haulage drift ain't gonna dig itself. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Say it with me, so come on! Let's go! Now you all probably see me using two different hammer drills down here. One of them is the Bauer. It's a good hammer drill and the other one is a Hercules. That's a good hammer drill too. Now you can get both of these at Harbor Freight. Now they both cost about the same, but they have distinct differences between the two. The Bauer, it hits slower, but it hits harder, but it's the vibration is really hard on your hands and it's great for cutting through this hard caliche. The Hercules, it has a slow start up on it and it has more blows per second 
than the Bauer. This is great for cutting through the clay. It cuts through it really fast. So we decided to get both of them and try them out. Well, I like both of them, so I'm gonna keep both of them. So that's why you're gonna see me using two different ones. Then of course, the Extreme Power back here. This one's a really good one. It blows through this cemented caliche like butter. And they're relatively cheap. You can find them online for like 200 bucks. You can't beat it. If you got a big job, I guarantee that this is gonna do it. And we always like to keep backups because things have a tendency of breaking down here. Enough of this jaw jacking. I gotta get back to work because I gotta punch through. That's what you wanna see, isn't it? Unless you wanna come down here and help me, huh? Do I got any takers? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nobody wants to come down here and help me. Oh, you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come on. My name is Jeff. Let's go. All right, I think we're just about ready to break on through to the other side. So what I want you to do is go around the other side, keep an eye on that and see if you see me poking through, all right? You think you can do that? The moment we've been waiting for. Ooh, I gotta say it now, so come on, let's go! son of a boy not bad huh uh, that should be big enough uh, what do you think is that big enough oh yeah I could drive a truck through here uh, what do you think about that son of Jim All I gotta do is widen it out big enough to get an ore cart through here. <laughs> that shouldn't take me too long, right? <sighs> feels pretty good. Airflow feels good. Alright, we'll blow this section out. Widen it. Make it deeper. We've been put some track in. Ah, what is, how's that sound? Then we gotta go on the hunt for oral. Who needs a gym? Ah, oh. just be a gold miner. Ah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, all we gotta do is widen it out. We can get a ore cart through there and dump it into that skip bucket make my job a lot easier that way we can keep working to get the nuggets out of there as well speaking of nuggets next episode we're going to be in there digging out nuggets so you're not going to want to miss that and by then we should have that widened out you're going to want to see what that looks like and then eventually like i told you we got track we're putting in track so that we can have full-size work carts run through there i think you're going to get a kick out of that so don't miss that now if you guys got any suggestions out there we'd like to hear it now before I get on out of here, we got a whole bunch of surprises coming up for you that I know you're going to love. I ain't going to let the cat out of the bag just yet, but it's going to be something you're really going to love, and it's something that's going to teach you how to find gold every time. So anyway, I'm going to get on out of here.
out of here because I got to keep widening that and then I got to go on the hunt for gold nuggets. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? A gold mine full of gold nuggets, that's who. Saying you like digging holes in the earth? Well, we do too. Stay tuned for next week's video and we'll be digging out that AU. Take care, everybody.